Was not spelled for him. With us. We'll be right back. Ten rounds, welterweights. And here from Union City, New Jersey, 144 pounds, red trunks with a white stripe. His record is seven, three, and one with three knockouts. Manuel Toribio. And his opponent is from Brentwood, Long Island. Blue trunks with a white stripe. 141 and one half pounds, undefeated in 16 bouts professionally, 14 wins by knockout, James Buddy McGirt. James McGirt. Referee, John Lobianco. Johnny Lobianco has the instructions for the two fighters. Here's what the tail of the You've tape You've been briefed on the rules. Two inch advantage in height for Manuel Toribio. The weight advantage, two and a half pounds for Toribio, and big reach advantage of seven and three quarter inches for Toribio. Oh, That'll be very interesting to see how McGirt can counter that reach advantage. Toribio comes in with a record of seven and three. Three knockouts. He comes from Union City, New Jersey, by way of Santo Domingo, and James Buddy McGirt comes out. Last fight was a tough one for him. Went to the 10th round where he finally stopped Pete Padilla. It was one of the best fights he could have had though, Sam. Pete Padilla is smart, good fighter. Uh, on the uh, on the end of his career, however, but still very smart. It was in real good shape for the fight. So Buddy McGirt had a tough one and he learned a lot, I'm sure, in that fight. As far as uh, Manuel Toribio in the red trunks is concerned, we have never seen him. Buddy has never seen him. Uh, his first start around these parts, so uh, he's kind of a mystery man. We'll take a look at him and judge him as we go along. I thought McGirt handled himself very well against the very experienced Padilla in that last fight. The surprising thing that one of the judges had Padilla ahead yeah. in on his card yeah. uh, going into the 10th round when the fight was stopped. It was really way off. I thought so. Sorry, I thought uh, McGirt was way ahead in that fight. Even, uh, even Padilla in the dressing room uh, later that night was very surprised that somebody had him ahead. Buddy McGirt's fourth fight of 1984. And as I mentioned, the uh, last eight have ended in knockouts. His first pro fight was a draw. That was March 2nd of 1982. A four-round draw with Lamont Heathcote. And since then, it's been 15 straight wins. Manuel Toribio going right back at his punches are there. slow, though, Sam. His punches are slow. Buddy should be able to figure him out. Buddy is a much faster puncher than Toribio, but we have to look more at Toribio before we can make a decision on him. Outside of the draw with Heathcote, uh, the only other fighter to go the distance with Buddy McGirt was Cesar Guzman, and that was back on February 16th of 1983. Well. McGirt, I'm sure the right hand is the one that uh, Toribio likes to throw, apparently. And I'm sure that McGirt could see it coming because it comes a long way and it comes very late. Good left hook by uh, Buddy McGirt. And again, McGirt's got good power. And he knows a few things, too. He knows how to tie up a guy. Johnny Lobianco cautioning Toribio about holding, but I don't think Toribio understands him, John. He's going, he's going to do very well. It was a left hook. It was a left hook. It didn't look all that big, but apparently it was. Wiping the eyes, Toribio having trouble seeing in that right eye, rubbing that eye as he gets up late in round one. McGirt going in, puts another left hand on Toribio. Toribio trying to tie him up. 15 seconds to go in the round. You cannot be saved by the bell. And if notice he goes down. they're wearing thumb, thumbed gloves. These gloves have thumbs in them, and he was rubbing his eye. He could have been thumbed in the eyes. Final seconds of the first round, and we come to the bell. Toribio back into the corner, had trouble with that right eye as he uh, got up, saw him rubbing it. And is still having a problem with it. They're in the corner looking at it. Now there's no doctor in the corner looking at it, however. Uh, there are two doctors at ringside. None of them are in the ring looking at the right eye of uh, Manuel Toribio. 
Rubio took a big left hook and also McGirt finished that up with a little of the forearm yeah. there. Yeah. And that might have been what affected the ice. Seemed to rub his left hand in the face of Terribio. Good right hand uppercut. Now there's the good left hook. Then he, then he stuck that left hand against the face and maybe the tape on the gloves rubbed on the right eye of Terribio. Could have been, but that left hook is the thing that did the damage. Wasn't all that big, that left hook, but... Terribio still rubbing that right eye. May have a little vision problem. Round two scheduled for 10. Buddy McGirt is a good finisher. When he gets guys hurt, he usually is able to put him away. I'm surprised that the doctor didn't take a look at Terribio's right eye because he indicated right openly that there was something wrong with it. But the two doctors at ringside, neither one of them went into the ring to take a look at it. McGirt just missing. Terribio mugging at McGirt. Terribio's a hot dog, Sam. Terribio's a hot dog. I don't think he has much ability. I don't think he's in there to go the uh, go all the way either. I think he's in there to just make a showing as long as he can, but I don't think he's going to be around long. Sharp work to the body by McGirt. Tremendous concentration on the part of Buddy McGirt. Very mature young man for 20 years old. And he has learned a lot for a young man. He has learned a lot of tricks, boxing tricks. particularly learn how to tie up an opponent which is good in a lot of ways like right now see he's the master inside if you have a concern he knows how to tie up an opponent that's when it will pay off glancing left hook scored for buddy mcgurt once again terribio ties him up buddy mcgurt another man is going to have to move up sam this is uh, he's got to start going into the class divisions now with the opponents McGirt has been busy. Very good thing in his pro career. Seven pro fights in 1982, six more in 83, and thus far four already in 1984. I got a kick out of that interview you had with him where he says he plays cards on the train. <laughs> <laughs> he goes from Brentwood, Long Island to Jersey City to train at Profano's gym. I tell you, when he trains, he trains, he works hard. The only way to do it. See, a fighter like uh, Manuel Terribio, Sam, can make you look bad. You could be a good fighter, fight a fighter like that, and you look bad. Late in the second round, scheduled for 10. Buddy McGirt in the blue trunks. Manuel Terribio in the red. Half a minute to go in round two. Terribio was down late in round one. Rivio is off balance most of the time. The veteran Johnny Lobianco gets him apart. Oh, good left hook again by McGird. Rocks to Rivio back. Less than 10 seconds to go round two. Professional boxing coming to you from Madison Square Garden Spelt Forum. 15-0-1. Looking sharp in this fight. Last fight was May 25th against Pete Padilla, and he comes back six weeks later looking very short. Stop Padilla in the 10th round. Good tough battle, battle again. McGirt rocking to Rivio and following up. hook was right on the kisser, Sam. Oh. Right smack on the kisser, and he followed up with a right hand. And the chant of Buddy goes up from the crowd from Long Island that have traveled in to see their man, Buddy McGirt. Rubio was down in the first round from that left hook. McGirt knows how to mix it up very well. Knows how to go to the body and go upstairs again. That left hook scores. And a right hand to Rubio goes down. He's clear eyed. He's not hurt. Count is four. The count is six. And he gets up. He'll take the mandatory eight. Johnny Lobianco wipes off the gloves. McGirt coming in for the finish with plenty of time to go in the round. A minute 50 to go. Legs wide apart on Terribio. He looks like he's ready to go down the again. Of a punch will knock him over, Sam. His balance is very bad. Doesn't have any balance at all. As he didn't have any when he came in. Doesn't have any now. Probably never will have any. Gert showing his maturity as a fighter on left hook. And down goes Terribio. 
Caught him once, but he fell down. He'll have trouble getting up this time. Johnny Lobianco might stop it. The count is eight. It's all over. It's all over. Buddy McCurtis knocked out another one. His ninth consecutive knockout. His 15th in 16 wins as he stops Manuel Toribio in the third round. I mentioned earlier, Sam, that uh, he had made up his mind very early in the fight that he was only going to take so much and then get out of there. And that's exactly what happened. Manuel Toribio going down twice here in the third, and it really was just a matter of time, as you mentioned, John. We're going to take another look at it. Toribio is okay, but uh, no question he wanted no more to do with Buddy McGirt. This is the first knockdown in round three. And there's that left hook doing the damage. Balanced. He's standing on one foot, actually. And McGirt follows up nicely. Hurt him with the left hook. And comes in with a good straight right hand. This is when he went down, and it was perfectly clear right because we looked right into his face. He got up at the count of eight. Now here's the uh, here's the punch that knocks him out. What a series of punches that knocks him out. Left hook, another left hook. At that point, uh, Toribio wanted to find a place to hide. He's crawling. He's <laughs> crawling right out of the ring, right up Eighth Avenue. And Toribio did not get up from this one. Well, we said we didn't know too much about uh, Manuel Toribio before the fight, but we know plenty about him now. He's not uh, that good a fighter, Sam. I don't think we want to know much more no. about Toribio, but for Buddy McGirt, he did what was expected of him. He comes in with a big knockout reputation, okay. and he does it again as he stops Manuel Toribio. Here's the official time Ladies for Ladies and Martin. gentlemen, the winner by a knockout and still undefeated, timed one minute, 40 seconds, 1-4-0, third round, James Buddy McGirt. 16-0-1 is the record of James Buddy McGirt with 15 knockouts. The last nine fights have ended by KO or TKO for James Buddy McGirt. So stay with us. We're coming back with more at Madison Square Garden's Felt Forum in a moment.